Something that is particularly beneficial uh, to land an entry-level job, a junior job, um, after completing a couple of uh, courses with SolarLearn is building a portfolio. So that's highly beneficial as well. So as you are learning uh, in the app, as you are completing courses in SolarLearn, you are going to be also working on projects. And you can build uh, your own portfolio to showcase, showcase your projects. And you can use uh, this to... Uh, to help you in a, in a job interview and to, to land a job. Fantastic. Okay, friends, I got to set some guidelines. Uh, a couple of things is one, be kind to everyone. Uh, that's the only way we can really work together and have a good conversation. The second, you don't need to repost your question three or four times in a row. We will see your question. When you do that, you make it hard for us to actually see your question and the questions of other people. So post your question once. We are. It's not just him and I. We have a team working to look at the questions that are coming through. Okay. So don't worry. We got you. We got you covered. Or right, we're going to answer your questions best we can. Okay. Let's see. There's so many, so many. Okay. This is a good question. I want to take this one. Why is Angular so important? Well, Angular. So here's what's interesting about Angular uh, that we do. There are thousands of apps inside of Google that use Angular. There are thousands that use Angular. So it's important to Google as well as it's important to the developer community outside of Google. So whenever we make a new feature, for example, uh, that feature has to be tested against thousands of applications. So that means by the time it makes it to the public uh, with open source, that feature has already gone through the paces and people have used it. So that's what makes Angular really important. And it's been one of the foundational frameworks. When Angular launched, a lot of the patterns that we created ended up inspiring other frameworks. So you can uh, check out some interviews from other framework authors, and you will find that there are things that they learned from Angular and went on to inspire them to create their framework. So Angular has been uh, a, a big part of the story. Oh, we got to what's going on. Uh, Angular is easy to test. That is one of the things that we provide a really great testing story. Let me answer this one question, because I think that a question from Romana is going to come up quite a bit. Hi, Mark. Do beginners really have job opportunities at Google? OK, so here's the truth about job opportunities anywhere. Being able to do the job that you are applying for is going to be your core responsibility. So it's not so much about whether or not there's a beginner chance. Are you a developer who can do the type of work that you want to apply for a job, whether it be at Google or any other organization? All right. So getting into Google is one of the things that people talk about in the industry. So how do you uh, do that? Because there's a good so there's a follow up question. Someone asks is, can Solon recommend us to a Google to Google so we can land a job? Right. So how do you even get a job at Google? Honestly, this is this is not something that is predictable from the solo launch side or even from my side as a part of the team. Here's what I can tell you to do. I can tell you what I did. Here's how I got a job at Google. I studied a lot. Um, I spent months studying and spending months studying gave me the opportunity that when the job opening came up, I was able to jump in and then uh, apply and go through the interview process. What did I study? Well, I studied data structures and algorithms. I studied lots of problem solving. I did tons and tons of leak code. I did, I read books. I just did all this, all this types of study. So that's how I ended up uh, getting to Google. And that's what the story really is is that you have to be able to solve problems, right? And I just mean like technical problems in general. And this is, it doesn't matter if it's Google or if it's some other place. Becoming a software engineer is really about putting your problem solving skills into practice to actually meet the needs of the business wherever you you can you uh, apply. Juan, what do you think about that story about like you're using your problem solving skills as a junior developer to try to get a job? Totally. I think that's what coding is all about, some computational thinking. So it's a way to solve problems in a different way, in a creative way as well. I think most people don't consider coding to be creative, and it really is. Mm -hmm. And it's, that's what it is. It's problem solving. And I think that's what we humans are really good at, at solving problems. So anyone can, I believe anyone can, has the capacity, any human has the capacity to learn to code and uh, get access and like augment that skill to solve uh, uh, problems in different ways with coding.